So that's the beauty blender applying on my face. Blah, pui. <laughs> so, that it's just one of those. Oh! Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about beauty blender. I know, I know, I can be a little bit late to talk about this product because this has been around for quite a while now but I am new to this and I want to be talking about my first impression initially but then when I received the product, I got so excited, I couldn't wait, I just started using it. I can tell you, I really like it. The Beauty Blender comes in various colors, the original comes in a very deep pink and what you do is before you use it you have to dunk it in water or just run it under tap water for 20 seconds and then it will expand in size then you squeeze out the liquid and you can start using it so let me get this wet squeezing it look it just got really fat and really wet it goes fast actually Ooh, and really soft. I, I like how it feels in my hand. It's really soft. And really wring it out, you know. Put in some effort to squeeze every single drop out so you can start using it. Because of my combination skin leaning more towards dry, I have a slight oiliness in my T-zone over time. It kind of messed up with my choices of liquid foundation, which is not very cool because sometimes when I find the perfect foundation for my dry skin uh, this part tend to clump up or tend to be really cakey which makes it difficult for me to choose the right foundation for me so what I do at this point is that I would use a little bit of primer to apply onto my t-zone so a bit of my nose not on my whole face because that would be too dry let this dry for a while and then we'll move on to liquid foundation. I'm using Chanel number no. 20 Le Beige. This is the new product by uh, Chanel. It was highly recommended to me. I didn't like it uh, when they first introduced it to me. It was a little bit cakey on my face when I applied it but I bought it anyway because the sales girl was so insistent that it looked amazing. I wouldn't say I regret it. I like the fact that it is SPF 25. Um, I have found a way to use it. What I do is that I would add a drop of almond oil into my two pumps of liquid foundation and then uh, mix it up in my hand and then apply it over my face and then it works flawlessly. So let me get my hair prepped up. I'm using this little velcro thing to pin my hair up. I can't remember where I got this from. Probably from Hong Kong. Or is it Taiwan? It's very useful. It keeps your hair out of your face. So with the liquid foundation, um, usually when I use a brush, I only need two pumps. But with the beauty blender, I do realize I need an extra pump just to get it spread over my face. So with the beauty blender, it does waste a little bit more of your beauty product. But with the finishing that you get, I think it's worth it. So one more pump. Mix it in. I will dab this like how I would dab moisturizer onto my face and then I will apply it with the beauty blender. So you're supposed to just dab instead of pushing around like that, like press and squeeze and press and squeeze. I do feel like this is like a really big finger where you instead of dabbing with your finger you just dab it with the sponge. It does provide a very even coverage and you can do your makeup a lot faster actually. I realized that I spend less time like half the time doing my face makeup than I would with a brush. Which is a plus point, because that's what you want, right? Applying makeup faster. So get it into your hair. Make sure you don't leave weird marks. 
there are people who like to avoid eye area but personally I prefer to have my foundation cover my eye area as well before I apply concealer because I feel that that's more even and it provides more coverage to my ear uh, to, to my ear to my eye to my under eye so I do use the tip to dab the under eye area to reach hard to reach corners hair get out of my face you can use this to apply concealer as well. I'm using NARS Custard. And what I do usually is I'll apply this onto my under eye and I'll use my ring finger to dab it out. But today I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender to dab it out. I'm gonna use the sharper narrower corner. And then here we go. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. What are you doing? Get back in place. Let me finish off with the rest of my makeup. You can also use Beauty Blender to apply powder onto your face. Here, I'm packing on powder underneath my eye to bake my concealer so they set nicely. While I wait, I'm going to contour my face. Covering the side of my temples, sharpening my features, not forgetting the jawline. And then I'm going to do both sides of my nose to heighten my nose bridge to make it look sharper and thinner. My eye makeups are usually very basic. I never use more than three shades on my eye, sometimes just two shades. Then I will apply eyeliner over my eye to set the look. If you'd like to see how I apply my makeup step by step, let me know in the comments section and I'll make a video of it. The only place you can get Beauty Blender in Malaysia is from Sephora and they cost a bomb at 99 ringgit per pop. And they don't really last long. I have friends who've used it for one year. I'm not sure how that works. But generally from what I read, a well-used beauty blender can last you for up to three months if you really take good care of it and if you use it every single day. Uh, I suppose if you want to be hygienic about it, you can change it every month. But it's not exactly a cheap item to keep changing every single month or even every three months. 99 ringgit is a lot of money. Let me go put on my eyelash my fake eyelash and then I'll be right back and I'm back so that's the beauty blender my verdict is I really like it I'll probably be using more of it I'm still not very good at it so in my next few videos you see me using more and more of this and hopefully I'll get better at it it cut my time of applying foundation in half it applies flawlessly like a dream I think it's really really nice And yeah, I bought two beauty blenders. So this is the other one that I was using the other day. And this is the Beauty Blender Pro, which is black in color. And you're supposed to use it for darker shades like contouring or, you know, if your liquid foundation is darker. And oops, sorry. And uh, this is after you soak it and this is before. So look at the size difference. This is at least 40% more or if not more than 40%. So I've read a lot of reviews online that they have dupes, but it's never as good as the original. Um, I don't know what kind of sponge they use in this. It's really nice and soft and it feels, it feels like cotton candy, condensed version on your face. I really like it. That's the end of my video. Subscribe to my channel, like my video, share with your friends, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!